students today i am going to talk on cholesterol synthesis first let's see the structure of cholesterol well, cholesterol is exclusively found in animals and not in plants uh, cholesterol is a complex lipid it is a major sterol in humans and it has a steroid nucleus this steroid nucleus is also called as cpp ring cpp means cyclo pentano per hydro fen and thrin ring okay it is cyclo pentano per hydro fen and thrin ring this is the cpp ring or you, it's also called as cpp uh, nucleus uh sometimes it is also written as 3p okay c p p p ring so uh, mcq or a, it can be asked ki what is c p p or uh, a full form of c p p can be asked okay so this is the steroid nucleus of cholesterol and if you see uh, there are four rings a b c and d from one and it is 27 carbon okay uh, on the uh, between fifth and sixth carbon there is a double bond on the 10th and on the 13th carbon there is a methyl group is attached on the d ring uh, this is the 17th carbon on the 17th carbon it has a eight carbon this is eight carbon isoprenoid chain this is attached on the 17th carbon of d ring and on the third carbon there is a oh group uh, now in the body cholesterol exists as a cholesterol ester that is it cholesterol is attached with a fatty acid and it is attached over here on this third carbon on the hydroxyl group so that's why it forms cholesterol ester liver and intestine are the major sites of cholesterol synthesis and this pathway occurs in cytoplasm and endoplasmic reticulum steps of uh, cholesterol synthesis are uh, the precursor for cholesterol synthesis is acetyl coa first is the synthesis of hmg coa then uh, the formation of mevalonate then the conversion of mevalonate to activated isoprene units then there is polymerization of six isoprene units to form squalene then there is cyclization of squalene that means ring structure to form parent steroid nucleus lanosterol and finally from uh, squalene to lanosterol to cholesterol is formed first let's see the synthesis of hmg coa uh, acetyl coa that is two molecules of acetyl coa it combines in presence of cytosolic enzyme thiolase to form acetoacetyl coa then further one more acetyl coa one more acetyl coa molecule combines in presence of hmg coa synthase to form 3 hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl coa which is also known as hmg coa now if you recollect when i was talking about ketone bodies these reactions are the same if you haven't seen uh, my ketone body uh, synthesis of ketone bodies you can have uh, go and check my video on ketone bodies and you will see these uh, the synthesis of hmg coa this pathway is similar to ketone bodies but the only difference is uh, ketone body occurs in the mitochondria while here uh, cholesterol here it occurs in the cytoplasm okay so both pathways are different so this is how first the synthesis of hmg coa take place next the synthesis of mevalonate hmg coa undergoes reduction in presence of nadph dependent enzyme hmg coa reductase uh, to form mevalonate 
step is the rate limiting step and the inhibition by statin drugs that is the hypolipidemic drugs it will act on this it will inhibit this enzyme hmg coa reductase and uh, this statin drugs they are uh, there are different types of statin drugs like lo uh, lovostatin pro provostatin simvastatin all these drugs will inhibit hmg coa reductase and that's why cholesterol synthesis is regulated that means cholesterol synthesis is reduced so this is the rate regulating step of cholesterol next is the synthesis of isoprene units Mevalonate is phosphorylated by ATP and subsequently decarboxylated to form activated isoprene units. Isoprene here it is isopentenyl pyrophosphate and they are known as the isoprene units. Isoprene units are building blocks of vitamin A, vitamin K, carotenoids, ubiquinone, which is used for electron transport chain, him, dolicol, uh, and several other isoprenoid compounds. Next is the synthesis of squalene. Here, there is polymerization of six isoprene units to form squalene. Now, we will see how it occurs. The isopentenyl uh, pyrophosphate, that is the isoprene units, isoprenoid unit, it in presence of isomerase enzymes forms dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. Then the next step, along with the dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate, another isoprenoid unit is attached and then it forms geranyl pyrophosphate. Here, if you see, this was 5 carbon, this was 5 carbon, this 5 carbon and one more isoprenoid unit combines together to form the geranyl pyrophosphate, which is the 10 carbon. Then one more isoprenoid unit combines together to geranyl pyrophosphate to form farnesyl pyrophosphate, which is a 15 carbon. Then another molecule of uh, farnesyl pyrophosphate combines together in presence of squalene synthase. Here, NADPH, magnesium, and manganese are required to form squalene. So this becomes 30 carbon. Now, if you see here, three isoprene units were um, required to form farnesyl. So two farnesyl, so six isoprenoid units are required. So uh, for the synthesis of, uh, of squalene, there is polymerization of six isoprenoid units to form the squalene, which is a linear hydrocarbon, okay? So it forms a linear squalene of 30 carbon. Next is the conversion of squalene to lanosterol and from lanosterol to cholesterol. Squalene, the 30 carbon, first in presence of epoxidase, squalene forms uh, squalene epoxy, uh, epoxide and then further with hydroxylase cyclase enzyme, it forms lanosterol. It also requires NADPH. Then there are series of reaction around 18 to 20 enzymes are required for the conversion of lanosterol to cholesterol. Lanosterol is a 30 carbon. So it, it is uh, by the series of reaction, it ultimately forms 27 carbon with a double bond on fifth and sixth, two methyl at uh, 10 and 13, and the seven iso uh, eight carbon isoprenoid units. So ultimately from lanosterol to cholesterol, a series of reaction occur and it forms the this cholesterol structure. Uh, so th uh, that was about the cholesterol synthesis. Uh, this is the uh, de novo synthesis of cholesterol. Next is the regulation of cholesterol synthesis. Now in mammals, the cholesterol uh, production is regulated. One is uh, the cholesterol intracellular concentration, then the supply of ATP and the hormone uh, hormonal regulation that is uh, insulin glucagon ratio, okay? So uh, 
uh, there are two types of regulation one is the short term regulation and the other is the long term regulation the main regulating uh, step is this hmg coa is converted to mevalonate uh, in presence of hmg coa reductase this is the committed step in cholesterol biosynthesis hmg coa reductase is controlled by several ways so let's see the short term regulation and the long term regulation in presence of insulin insulin causes dephosphorylation of hmg coa reductase and so activates the enzyme and so hmg coa reductase converts into mevalonate and ultimately increases cholesterol synthesis at the same time glucagon causes phosphorylation of hmg coa reductase and thus inhibits the enzyme and that's why it will decrease the synthesis of cholesterol this phosphorylation and dephosphorylation uh, occurs by the amp dependent protein kinase which senses the in, uh, increase in amp concentration that indicates that there is low atp level so when the atp level drops amp dependent protein kinase is activated this phosphorylates and inactivates hmg coa reductase and thus inhibits cholesterol synthesis next is the long term re regulation this is also known as a feedback regulation uh, here hmg coa reductase is inhibited by mevalonate which is the immediate product of this step and the next the cholesterol the end product of cholesterol synthesis both will inhibit hmg coa reductase uh, when they are in high concentration and that will lead to the uh, decrease in the synthesis of cholesterol next regulation is at the gene level so when there is a high cholesterol uh, level it will inhibit uh, the transcription of hmg coa reductase enzyme and thus it will inhibit the cholesterol synthesis it will inhibit transcription so ultimately translation is inhibited and so the enzyme hmg coa reductase enzyme is is synthesized in low concentration and that's why it will inhibit the cholesterol synthesis small quantities of oxysterol oxysterol such as 25 hydroxy cholesterol are formed in the liver and they act as a regulatory of cholesterol synthesis it inhibits uh, the uh, hmg coa reductase enzyme it by stimulating the proteolysis of hmg coa reductase oxysterol also inhibits this step it is a conversion of ld cholesterol to uh, cholesterol when there is uh, cholesterol synthesis it is converted to cholesterol ester that is a fatty acid is attached to cholesterol on the uh, carbon uh, 3 on the third carbon in presence of enzyme acyl coa cholesterol acyl transferase so when there is uh, cholesterol is synthesized it will activate uh, this enzyme a cat enzyme is activated in presence of cholesterol and it forms cholesterol ester. Next is the competitive inhibition. Uh, the statin drugs like lovastatin, atrovastatin, provastatin, simvastatin, all these statin drugs, they competitively inhibit HMG CoA reductase. These are the hypolipidemic drugs or you can say the hypocholesterol uh, drugs. It will inhibit uh, synthesis of cholesterol. And okay, so that was about the regulation of cholesterol synthesis. Next is the metabolic fate of cholesterol. Uh, besides being used as a component of cell membrane, Cholesterol is also used to produce the following compounds. 
the bile acids bile acids they are uh, here the cholesterols they are exported from liver through bile and that's why they are known as the bile acids bile acid the primary bile acid is choleic acid and trino deoxycholic acid uh, these are then excreted out from the liver um, by conjugating with glycine and taurine and that's why they are known as uh, uh, glycocholic acid or glycochinodeoxycholic acid or taurocholic acid and taurochinodeoxycholic acid. Uh, then uh, these, uh, when they are present as sodium and potassium salts, they are known as the bile salts. So this can uh, become sodium glycocholic or potassium glycocholic acid or sodium glycogenodeoxycholic or potassium glyco in the similar way sodium taurocholic and potassium taurocholic. So these are the different bile salts. Bile salts, uh, they help in the emulsification of lipids and thus facilitate the digestion and absorption of the dietary lipids. Next, cholesterol is uh, synthesizes vitamin D3 or coal calciferol. Uh, this is synthesized in, uh, in the skin from 7D hydrocholesterol by the exposure to UV rays of sunlight. Then uh, the cholesterol is the precursor of various steroid hormones, testosterone, uh, glucocorticoid, mineralocorticoid, aldosterone, estrogens. All these steroid hormones are synthesized from cholesterol. So this was the metabolic fate of cholesterol. So that was about the synthesis of cholesterol, the regulation of cholesterol, and the metabolic fate of cholesterol. Thank you so much. Those who haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and do like my video. Thank you.